Well, folks, welcome to another Grandpa's Sports Videos, and I've caught up here with Coach James Wheeler, uh, the varsity coach at Staley. Coach, uh, just a really great game the other night here when you guys uh, beat um, Odessa. Odessa, I'm sorry, Odessa. Yeah, it's uh, our kids. Uh, we were longing for a win. Um, we needed that one. They they come in and they work hard every day in practice, and it was finally good to see that work pay off. Yeah. yeah. I know it's got to be gratifying for you, too, to be coming back home here to Green Valley. Uh, you grew up in this area and played basketball out here. Yeah, and it's good. Close to home, family gets to come. It's not a long travel for them. Sometimes they don't get to get to every game. Um, it's it's good being in familiar places, too. And uh, my high school coach has been at every game this week, so it's kind of good for him to, to uh, be able to come because he's still coaching himself. So it's, it's good to come back, yeah. Did you get to play here at this new school? Because, yeah. man, it looks like a really nice facility, a lot like Staley, only just a little smaller. Yeah, this school, uh, I played here. This school opened up uh, my first full year was my freshman year of high school. So I think they opened this place in 90, right around 95, 96, yeah. Okay, let's go back to the basketball game there the other night on Thursday. First of all, first round loss uh, against Oak Grove, but man, I mean, there's there's nothing to be ashamed of. They're top 25 team here in Kansas City, plus they're playing for the championship here later on today. So, you know, nothing to be ashamed of there, but a great win. But what I really want to talk to you about, I guess if you could have a Mr. Basketball, if you want to call that at Staley for this team this year, it had to be Zach Riley, uh, jump center, uh, inside, outside, brings the ball down court. Zach's pretty well doing it all this year, isn't he? Yeah, Zach. We Zach. We rely on Zach to do a lot of things. He, a lot of times, he's guarding the best player. He uh, he does jump center. Um, he he brings the ball up the floor for us. Sometimes we try and isolate him at the basket. Um, we rely on him heavily, and uh, we we have high expectations for him um, because we know we can handle it. Um, great kid too off the court. Does does the job in the classroom, um, and we're really proud of the things he's done. One other thing I thought was really good about that game was man had some good bench play also. Uh, had I thought really some good games out of Jody Kraft and Trevor Lamb, the freshman, man, a young kid like that coming in and playing on this level. Yeah, the, that's two good, uh, two good guard play uh, or, or guards coming off the bench that gave us good minutes the other night. Um, Trevor, uh, we know Trevor's going to have to play for us in upcoming years, so we're trying to get his feet a little bit wet as a freshman. Um, Jody has Jody knocked down a couple big shots, got into the lane, made a nice play a couple nice plays there um, clutch baskets in the second half that uh, that we really needed okay about this game today can you tell us just a little bit about Pleasant Hill uh, seeing them play they beat Renaissance if I remember right but uh, what, what are we going to expect what's Staley going to do against these guys well Pleasant Hill they guard the ball they, they guard well defensively they're a solid group they play extremely hard uh, they got two big post players two guys in the middle that uh, that are solid players number 41 number 21 big boy. yep so our job here is uh, our job today and what we talked about in practice was trying to keep them out of the lane out of scoring opportunity we'd rather them if they're going to beat us be us from the perimeter then beat us from the inside and the interior so we're going to try and keep the ball out of the middle of the floor as much as possible and uh, roll the dice and see what happens hopefully we can get enough points on the board to win I say Michael Brinkmeyer is going to have to use that body inside on that, on that yeah. number 41. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, actually, Brink, Michael Brinkmeyer is absent today because, oh, yeah, he's at a uh, he's he's actually doing some academic stuff. He's got a big time scholarship interview today, mm -hmm. um, so we're going to re we're actually going to uh, we talked about bench play, so we're going to go back to that bench and rely on some guys uh, to really step up off the bench. Okay, okay Coach Wheeler. Uh, Congratulations on getting this far. Hope we can pull out fifth place today and go get them. Thank you very much. Thanks for the time. Well, folks, it's time for the fifth place game here at the Green Valley Sonic Showdown between the Staley Falcons and the Pleasant Hill Roosters. Looking for Roosters. We're playing Pleasant Hill. This is Green Valley. Grandma, the scorekeeper, thinks it's the Eagles, and Grandpa, the commentator, thinks it's the Roosters. And it looks like Zach Riley will be jumping center for the Staley Falcons, as we are just about ready to tip it off here to see who's going to be the fifth place finisher here. And it looks like Pleasant Hill is going to control the tip off. Coming out in zone, it looks like. Going to try to close that inside, but it's not going to work. 
on this play anyway is Justin Morgan, the senior. I'm going to come out of that with the two points. And the turnover. This pass just a little bit short. Zach battling hard in there under the basket. Pleasant Hill playing with a lot of energy right now to get it inside to Brian Young over to Nathan Fulkerson and Nathan Fulkerson is going to call for traveling and that's going to take that basket away. Just the camera here just a little bit I feel like it's sitting on top of me. Here's a pull up and a jumper. It's off the front of the rim. That was Josh Shrewmaker with a shot and a miss. Zach trying to get it over the half court line. Going to get it up to Brian Young over to Hatfield. John with the drive. Finger roll. Turn around jumper. Nathan Fulkerson with the rebound. Trevor Lamb up court. Corner to Hatfield. Cross court to Zach. Zach's going to drive the lane, go with the left hand, and it will drop. Two points for Zach Riley. Nice drive into the lane with a lot of authority. And Zach's going to be going to the line, shooting one. We are tied right now with 6.08 to play here in the first quarter. 2-2. Two -two. Zach starting off pretty much the way he did against Odessa here coming out in the first half. Zach's going to have the steal and the layup. And Zach's going to have the first five points here for Staley as they go ahead 5-2. Cross court pass. And they're going to call that off of a Staley player's foot, evidently. It's going to be out of bounds. It'll be Pleasant Hill ball into their own basket. Into the big boy. And Brian Young is going to foul Brad Smith. Brad making a power move to the basket, but Brian shows some power back. Only problem, he hit him on the arm in the process. So it's going to be Brad at the line, shooting two. First one's up and in. Good shot, good arch. Nice movement by Brad in that shot. Try for the second one. And the second one's in. 5-4 now. Pleasant Hill still with full court pressure. Zach Riley and John Hatfield in the backcourt. They're going to, Zach gets it down rather easily. Nathan Fulkerson inside. Nice turnaround jumper by Nathan Fulkerson. Staley now leads 7-4. Into Brad Smith and off the glass. 7-6. And that's going to be a traveling on Zach Riley. He wanted to make a pass somewhere else and at the last minute tried to change his mind and couldn't do it and had to give it up. But they called traveling on him because it might have been a fast break the other way if they hadn't. Pleasant Hill here now with a chance to go ahead. Staley still in that zone defense over here on the baseline with Hunter Mounce, I think is how you pronounce that. Zach pretty much out front by himself. Coach Wheeler's asking Brian to come out and get the ball. 
Hatfield with the drive, and he's going to throw it up, and it is momentarily in there, but not for very long. Pleasant Hill gets that ball down court pretty quick. Trevor Lamb's going to swat it away, but it'll go out of bounds. And it's going to be Pleasant Hill ball. trying to sag back and fill up that area around the basket, but number 40, Josh Shoemaker, is going to get the left. I just put a number, number 40 somewhere. Jody Kraft's going to check in and John Hatfield will go out. And we've got a three try. It's no good. Brian Young momentarily controls that. And I think they're going to say Nathan Fulkerson. I mean, there was a bunch of arms in there swatting around at that, even with a Pleasant Hill player. I believe that was uh, Josh Alnez. Shot, rebound by Zach Riley. And Staley's going to come right on down court with it. Zach's going to drive, and he will be fouled. And that's going to be Josh Alnez. A-L-A-N-I-Z. Alamos, 3.20 to go here in the first quarter. Staley behind by one point now. And Zach is going to tie it up. Hatfield is going to check back in. Brian Young is going to go out. Zach can put Staley back on top here. And he does. That's seven points for Zach already here, already in the first quarter. We're still 317 to play. And it's going to be a three try. No good. Zach down court over to Trevor and right back to John Hatfield. John goes down to his knees. I think the ball was partially blocked. shot. It's going to be a foul, I think, on somebody away from the ball as he ran into a Staley player. Foul is going to be on uh, Josh uh, Alanis as he ran into Hatfield, I believe it was. Trevor's going to run right by that full court press and gets it into Nathan Fulkerson. And they're going to have another foul on Pleasant Hill, and this is going to be fourth team foul. Going to be on Nathan Watson. Staley ball, Hatfield into Zach. I think they're going to call Zach for stepping out of bounds right underneath the basket as he was off balance there trying to get hold of that ball and get it back in play. Staley with a slim one-point lead here. 2.30 to play in the first quarter. And another three try, and it will go in. And that's going to be Hunter Moose. Jody Kraft trying to get the ball down court. I think it might have tripped over somebody's foot. Staley still in the zone. 
Coach Wheeler has been playing the zone a little bit this year on, I think, some teams where he thought maybe he might be outmanned on the inside. Here's another three, but it's off. Ball's going to go around, and I believe they are going to get a Pleasant Valley player for reaching over the back. It's going to be on Josh Alanaz. Alanaz. Yeah, I can't understand it. it. It'll be up there. Yeah, it was number 20 for Pleasant Valley. Alanaz. Alanaz. Hatfield with a three try and is in and out. John cannot find the range or get the lid off that basket. Nice running layup by Justin Morgan, and that's going to make it 13 9. Zach has to make a long down court pass to Hatfield and back to Zach and Nathan Fulkerson, but he can't drop it. Driving layup. Josh Shoemaker he misses the shot, but he's going to get fouled in the act, and it's going to be a two shot foul. And that foul is going to be on Jody Kraft. Hill still with a 13-9 lead, makes that 14-9. Got a minute and 12 here to go. Staley playing with just a little bit more up tempo. But Pleasant Hill matching that tempo and keeping up with them on defense. And they're going to call traveling on Nathan Fulkerson. And that's going to turn the ball. Hill. And we've got a substitution. Trenton Roach is going to be coming in. He'll play the ball in on the far baseline. And a three. In and out. And the big guy is going to get the rebound, but he misses that. Brad Smith up over Brian Young there for that rebound. <laughs> Brian Young, and here's Zach with the three, and it's off the front of the rim, short. Once again, Pleasant Hill. And they're going to call traveling <laughs> on uh, Jared Burge. Uh, Hatfield had pretty much already reached in and got the ball, but I'll go along with the referee's call. Jody's going to drive the lane, kick it out to Brian Young, but it will not be any good. And the first quarter score is going to be the Pleasant Hill Roosters 14 and the Staley Falcons 9. We'll be right back with second quarter play here in just a minute at the Green Valley Sonic Showdown. Okay, here we go with second quarter play now. I'll try to keep the camera on the action. Tyler Nugent checks in now, giving Staley just a little bit more inside height. And John Hatfield. Well, are they going to allow it? I think they are. Basket did count by Hatfield. They stopped the game for something. I'm not sure. The referee said something to Tyler Nugent, but I don't know what it was. 
but Pleasant Hill comes right back, and that's going to be Josh Griffin. No, it was two. Griffin, two. They're going to call a jump ball. On that as Jody gets tied up. And the possession arrow will go over to Pleasant Hill. And they have a four-point lead and the ball. We're just now into the second quarter, not quite a minute yet. 7-11 to play. Nice drive into the lane. Josh Shoemaker. That last stop and play, Trevor Lamb checks in for Jody. Here's Hatfield with another three. He's going to follow the shot, get the rebound. Tries to get it over to Tyler Nugent. Pass might be a little bit strong. Tyler can't get, get the handle on it, and it goes out of bounds. Pleasant Hill now with a six-point lead. Pleasant Hill trying to make them nice, sharp, crisp passes. And here's a three try, and that was a three. And that's going to be Josh Shoemaker again. 21-12 for Pleasant Hill. And I think they're going to call a foul on number five, Hunter Mouse. Mounts. Mounts. That's going to be 16 fouls. Hatfield kind of catches him napping, and he's going to get it right in there to John Hatfield, and Hatfield fires it to Brian Young, and he dribbles right into the paint and puts a shot up and gets fouled in the act. Brad Smith with the foul, and that's going to be two fouls for Brad. Brian with the free throw, and it's good. 21 to 15. Five fifty-seven to go. The refs going over to the table there to have a little conflab. Don't know if there's a problem with the clock. Might kind of bring you up to date here on the scoring just a little bit. Zach has got two, four, five, six, seven points. Parkerson two. Hatfield five, six. Once again, Pleasant Hill looking for that little hole. And Going to be a good shot by number 21, Josh Griffin. <laughs> As the Staley sign falls down on Grandma, the scorekeeper. Trevor looking, looking, and he gets a hold of Zach Riley, and I think they're going to get Josh Alnez for slapping Zach on the hand, and that's going to be the eighth team foul. And Zach's going to be going to the line, and that's three fouls. And Coach Ryan Mesner, Mesinger, I'm sorry, Mesinger of Pleasant Hill is going to take him out right away. Three fouls in the first half. He's probably going to be setting out a little. And it's going to be off Tyler Nugent. Zach almost steals that pass. Zach really plays the passing lanes really good and anticipates passes. So Zach with quite a few steals for a big guy. Once again, Pleasant Hills 
moving that ball around, trying to find that little open space where they can get somebody with a good clear shot. Showing a lot of patience as they really work it around. And a long three. I mean way out there. By Hunter Mounts. Mounts. Pleasant Hill trapping Tyler Nugent over here, although he did get the ball to Zach Riley. And Coach Wheeler is going to call the timeout, and we're going to take one, too. We'll be back in just a minute. Okay, going to resume play here with 4.25 to go. And Pleasant Hill with a nine-point lead now. Zach's going to get it into Tyler Nugent, but Tyler is actually right under the basket and I think had some problem getting the ball up over the basket because the angle that he shot that was not very good. It was almost straight up and it came down and hit the heel of the rim and then bounced off and I think they ended up calling traveling or something. I don't know for sure what that was, but Pleasant Ball, Pleasant Hill Ball. Here's another three, and we'll go in for Hunter Mouse. Five. Pleasant Hill now with a 14-point lead. Trevor drives the free throw lane, kicks it back out. Now Zach with a three, no good. Boy, the lid is covered on the basket today. Pleasant Hill with a nice, fast break, very nice move. And that's going to be Nathan Watson making the shot, and he will get fouled in the act. And with that layup, Pleasant Hill kicks it out to 16-point lead. Nathan's shot is up and in. Make that 17 points. Get it inside to Nathan Fulkerson. And Nathan will put down the two. Nice play there, guys. I think that was Trevor Lamb to Hatfield to Fulkerson. Uh, I think that'll be a foul on Trevor Lamb for reaching in on Justin Morgan. That's only the fourth team foul. For Staley. Trenton Roach back into the game. But it's going to be Pleasant Hill ball under their own basket. And I think Staley now is just switching now to a man-to-man -man defense. Evidently feeling like that outside game's killing them a little too much. So Coach Wheeler calls for the man-to-man -to, -man to try and close down them three-pointers. And here's another nice drive by the sophomore. Josh Shoemaker, but he can't get it to drop. Just about a five-second call on Trevor Lamb. And Coach Wheeler doesn't like what he sees. It's Pleasant Valley playing with a lot of speed and enthusiasm right now. And Staley looks like they might be just in a slight state of confusion. So Coach Wheeler calls a timeout to kind of get the troops together. 2.10 to go. Pleasant Hill with a 32-17 lead. We'll be back in just a minute. We're back underway. Second quarter. Pleasant Hill, 16-point lead. Staley trying to climb back into this. Zach gets it into Brian Young, but Brian is going to 
Put a little too much arm in it. And man, a nice fast break by Pleasant Hill. They get behind the Staley defense. Trenton Roach with a nice layup there. Hatfield's off balance and poor less just throws the ball to an open space. Here's Trevor with a three. Man, it's off the top of the backboard. Pleasant Hill kind of got the Falcons on the ropes here right now. It's a 17-point lead here before halftime. Minute and 30 to go. Number five, Hunter Mouse. 108. Gonna get it in to Nathan Fulkerson. Ball hits the side of the backboard and here comes Pleasant Hill again. And that's gonna be a foul on Zach Riley as he kind of puts the shoulder into Justin Morgan. And Justin's gonna be going to the free throw line here. With 55 seconds to go. Justin drops the first one. Justin with the second one off the back of the rim. Just about gets his own rebound. Boy, some nice hustle there by Justin. But Staley will come away with it. Xavier Smith now into the game. Ball was on the floor. Xavier comes up with it. But it goes out of bounds off of Hatfield's hand and Pleasant Hill now with the ball. And a nice drive again by Josh Shoemaker. Staley comes out of the zone, and they're really giving up a lot of um, shots there on the back baseline and close to the basket. Jody Kraft's going to check back into the game. And here's a three by Hatfield, a long three, and it is good. Six, five, four, and a three. And I tell you... Hunter Moose, Pleasant Hill. They're having no trouble dropping the shots here at the Green Valley Sonic Shootout. And it's 42 to 20 for Pleasant Hill. Might round up the points here for everybody at the halftime. And it looks like it's going to be Zach Riley for Staley as a high point man. As he's got two, four, five, six, seven points. Nathan Fulkerson with four. John Hatfield with eight. And over on the Pleasant Hill side, it looks like it's going to be um, Morgan with two, four, seven, eight. Hunter Moose, who seems like he's been shooting the lights out on the basket. He's got nine. Griffin, four. Watson, two. Roach, two. Burge, Two, and then I believe the guy that's really been killing Staley here so far is uh, Josh Shoemaker. And he's got nine points. Brad Smith with two. But Staley going to have to come out after the half with some kind of defense and find to try to kick that lid off the basket and make some points because right here now at halftime, the Pleasant Hill Roosters 42 and the Staley Falcons. We'll be back after halftime. Okay, here we go with second half play. 
And looks like the lineup here is, well, Hatfield's going to come right out with a three. And boom, drops that rascal. That'll make it 42-23. And it's going to be a traveling call on Josh Griffin. So Staley will get the ball. Zach with it. Gets it up to Trevor right at the half court line. Ryan Young. Trevor. And a pass just out of the reach of Zach Riley. Pleasant Hill Roosters will play the ball in. Pleasant Hill once again firing that ball around the outside. Staley still in that man to man. Evidently, they've come out determined to stop the outside shooting. And here goes the big guy inside. And there isn't much you can do as Brad Smith is going to make that. And then a steal by number three, Justin Morgan. And Pleasant Hill now with a 23-point lead. And there's Hatfield with another two. Maybe John now finding the range. Drive, miss. And looks like Trevor's going to get that pass and come away with it. Staley with a 20-point uphill battle. They're going to get it inside to Nathan Fulkerson. Does the ball fake, and Smith went for it, and Nathan gets the easy two-pointer. Eighteen points, but Pleasant Hill gets it inside to Brad Smith, and he gets the easy shot off the glass. And we're back to 20 right now. Both teams just trading baskets. Josh Shoemaker swats that ball away. Josh with a really good game here so far today. But Staley will get it out of bounds. This is off of Josh's hand. Inside to Nathan. Looks around. Really nice turnaround jumper by Nathan Fulkerson. And I believe that's going to be six points for Nathan. Pleasant Hill right back. Trevor is going to come away with it. Hatfield looks at the three. Pulls the ball back down. Gives it up. Trevor behind the back. Now here's Hatfield from the corner. And boy, John now lighting it up. That's nine, nine points for Hatfield. Staley got it down to 15 points. Can they keep up this pace? That's the way they're shooting. And it's going to be off. They say, I think, off of Brad. Or Brad. <laughs> Brad Smith. It'll be Staley Ball. Staley's gotten five points of it back. And it's going to be off Justin Morgan. Trevor Lamb will play it in here on the sideline. Oh, some nice ball handling by Staley, and they get it inside to Brian Young in the lane, and he misses the layup, but he was going to get fouled in the attempt, so Brian now be at the line shooting two, and Staley can get it down to 13 points here. If Brian can pull both of these down, first one's in. That's 14 points. Just a 14-point lead now for Pleasant Hill. And he makes a second. And it's down to 13 points. Still plenty of time to play in this game. 
if Staley could get on a run and they could shut down this offense, but they're not going to do it on that play as Brad Smith, they get it inside to the big boy, Brad, a junior. And he's going to get fouled on play by Nathan Fulkerson, and it's going to be Brad going to the line. Brad makes it. Brad Smith with the free throw. Looks like nine points for Brad now. Brian Young with the drive and he lays it up there. They are going to call traveling on Brian, even though he had the rebound and control of the ball. And I think it went off of somebody's foot the way it looked. Pleasant Hill brings it down court inside to, I believe, Justin Morgan with a nice layup, and he's going to get fouled in the act. And now it's back up to 16 points after that play. 16 point lead for Pleasant Hill. I didn't get who the foul was on. Looks like it's on Brian Young. And Justin makes the end of the three point play as he drops that free throw. Zach's going to get into the lane, put it up there, and it will fall. And now Zach's going to have a try at the three-point play. And Josh Shoemaker with the foul. I'm not going to say he did anything wrong, but that's first mark against Josh, I think, in this game. Just a sophomore. Playing a strong game here for Pleasant Hill. Zach shot off the back of the rim. Pleasant Hill with the rebound. The big guy, Brad Smith, misses the shot. Hatfield had control of it. But uh, Jared Burge had more or less fell on his leg, and I think they're going to call a foul on Burge. Number 35. Foul. <laughs> Hatfield with a tall pass that I think Danny Manning might have been able to catch. But not Zach. <laughs> and John knows he made a mistake afterward, kind of grabbed his head. Like, what did I just do? Nice drive by Trenton Roach, and I think we're going to get a foul on a Pleasant Hill player, maybe for reaching, pushing off something. But Staley is going to play it in. Under the basket on the baseline. Zach Riley going to bring it up. Pleasant Hill once again in that full court pressure. Just about stolen, but Zach gets control. Hatfield, Young. Staley swings it back over to this side. Now back to the other side. Trevor inside to Nathan Fulkerson. Nathan can't grab the handle. And Pleasant Hill comes up with it. Boy, Mounts was wanting to set up for the three. He, he, had, he was ready. Had his feet set and everything, but then passed it off. Pleasant Hill, pretty quick. I think a Staley player had a hand in there in the passing lane, though that ball knocks it out of bounds. It'd be Pleasant Hill ball under their own basket. Make a 
get a three. Hunter wanted to unload that thing there a while ago at the top of the circle, but didn't do it. But this time he gets an open shot, squares up to that basket, and fires away. And I think they are going to call a foul on Brian Young and possibly a moving block. And it's going to be Pleasant Hill ball over here on the sideline. Inside. To Hunter Moose and tries to put up a shot. I might have stumbled over somebody's foot. But he's going to be going to the line, shoot two here now. A minute and 59 to go in the third quarter, and once again, Pleasant Hill gets it back up to a 20-point lead. Hunter makes the first one. Jody Kraft checks into the game. Hunter sinks the second one. Pleasant Hill now with a 22-point lead. Boy, Zach really bringing it out deep into the forecourt. Yes. We're going to have a foul here on the 21. And Josh Griffith. Second foul for Josh and 15 foul here in the half. Here's Trevor with a three. No good. Jody Kraft with some tight defense, and the Pleasant Hill's going to turn the ball over. Nathan Fulkerson with a full court drive, but misses the shot. And here's Hunter again, and another three. These guys from Pleasant Hill shooting the bottom out of the basket with the three points plays. Hatfield with a three, no good. Nathan Fulkerson with the rebound. Trevor Lamb, Hatfield again, no good. Hatfield gets it, has control over to Zach. Zach looks inside and with a falling, diving shot, but no foul. <laughs> Zach Riley gets a two pointer in the lane. We're down to seven, six. Five. And we've got one second, but not enough time. And your score here after three quarters of play, once again at the Green Valley Sonic Shootout. Shoot down. Shootout. Showdown. I'll get it right. It's going to be the Pleasant Hill Rooster 62 and the Staley Falcons 39. We'll be back in just a minute with more action here in the fourth quarter. Here we go with the final eight. Pleasant Hill with a 23-point lead. And the ball. Staley still in the man-to-man. -man. The big guy, Brad Smith, with a turnaround jumper, but it's a little bit flat. And... Tyler Nugent with the rebound. Zach Riley again with a nice layup over there. With, I believe that was off the right hand on the left side, but it goes in. Zach now with 2, 4, 6, 8, 11 points. 13. Grandma, the scorekeeper, says 13. Zach here with a chance to make it 14. 
It's off the heel, no good. 62-41, 21 points. Jody, they're going to call Jody Kraft for uh, reaching in, I believe, or grabbing or something. That'll be five team fouls on Staley. Into the big guy. And with somebody with that size, it's pretty difficult to keep them from getting that ball up. Because one way or another, they're either going to shoot or you're going to foul them. And Brad does a good job there. 64-41. Zach goes for the basket again. Jody here with an open shot. And Jody's going to sink that. Jody had an open space there, so he faced up, squared up, and put her in. And they're going to go with John Hatfield for grabbing the hand. And that should be 16 fouls there. They'll be shooting the next one. And kind of a turnaround hook, throw it up there by Josh Alnez. Alanis. Alanis. And I think it's going to be a foul on Justin Morgan, and Jody Kraft should be going to the line, as that was the seventh team foul. Third foul on Morgan. Jody makes the first one. 66-44. Pleasant Hill. And the second one is good by Jody Kraft. 66-45. Pleasant Hill makes the breaks that full court pressure real easy. And Morgan is going to be fouled by Hatfield. Second foul on Hatfield. We got 6-12 to play. Staley behind makes that 20 points. 20, 22 points behind. 67-45. Trevor Lamb is going to check back in. And Justin makes them both. Josh with a three. Um, <laughs> Zach Riley with a three. Back to 20 points. Staley now in their full court defense. Missed there by Alan Alanez, but the big boy, Brad Smith, gets the rebound and puts it back up. Back to 22 points. Hatfield with a three. Off the front edge of the rim. Zach Riley gets a hand in there but cannot get it away. There's Allen as again with the drive. Riley with the rebound. Here's Jody Kraft with a three and it is good. 70-51. If Staley could shut down this offense, I think they could do some good, but uh, Pleasant Hill, they're doing it all inside, outside, three-pointers, you name it. Justin Morgan's going to be going to the line, and it looks like it's a foul on Trevor Lamb. And 
Ajay. She's going to miss the free throw. Staley can whittle away. Jody with the left-handed layup. I'm sorry, I was watching the play rather than the camera. But he misses. And now there's an open lane right there. And Dylan Findley sees it and drives through there. Doesn't make the shot, but he's going to get fouled, and he'll be shooting too. For us, Tyler Nugent. Foul was on Tyler Nugent. Dylan with a second shot, and it will drop. that away. Out of bounds. Staley ball. 4.25 to play. And we've got a foul on the Staley player. Tyler Nugent is going to get the foul. Score staying right at 20 points here. Staley just can't seem to break free. And we're going to get a traveling call there from Dylan Findley. And it's going to be Staley Ball out of bounds. Yeah, he got two. Yeah, he's only got two fouls. Hatfield with the drive, and he tries the back under the rim layup, but no good. Well, I think Hunter was anticipating something else and threw it out of bounds, and it's going to be Staley Ball. Just about a steal, Hatfield manages to hang on and he'll put up a shot, but it's off. There comes Hunter down court with the ball and the big boy Brad Smith's going to pick it up. And I think Zach, I think they're calling a jump ball and possession arrow shows Staley. Staley putting up some pretty good numbers here compared to some of the games they've played there lately. 51 points. But the only problem is Pleasant Hill has been shooting the lights out, and they got 71. I like to know what their shooting percentage is for this game, but, man, it's got to be up there pretty high. Tyler Nugent and Brian Young break into the basket with a nice little fake, but he misses the shot. And it's going to be off Zach Riley. He reaches in and knocks it away. Three oh five to play. Pleasant Hill with the ball on the baseline. And they're going to make a long pass behind the defense. Josh Griffin, I think, had gotten behind the defense. Brian Young was able to hit it, but when he blocked it, he knocked it out of bounds, so it's going to be Pleasant Hill ball on the far sideline. Another drive by Alanaz. No good. Brian Young with a rebound. Zach here with a three off the front. Tyler Fulkerson with the rebound. And I believe that's Josh Morgan's going to get the foul on that. Tyler going to the line. I'm sorry. That's Jared Burge. 
Tyler goes to the line now to shoot a one and one. I think there was no shot involved. And Zach Riley is going to go out and get a little bit of a break here with 2.43 to play. Xavier Smith will come in. Tyler with the first one, and it's off to the side. Something on the scoreboard. Ref's going to have a little conflab here. Well, I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Did they did they cancel the the free throws because they're giving the ball to Pleasant Hill now? You got me. I don't know what the official ruling is. I think they're trying to decide now whose ball it was. I mean, the foul was definitely on the Pleasant Hill player. It's got to be, I would think, black ball out of bounds. Saley ball. Yeah. Chad Hall in the game now, by the way. And now the coach from Pleasant Hill wants to know what's going on. <laughs> As we all do. Don't understand why it was a foul. Tyler had already shot one free throw. <laughs> oh, anyway, we're under play. Underway. Chad Hall loses control there for just a minute. And Alanez gets control of the ball. Pleasant Hill, three-pointer. And it will fall. Number 22, Matt Townsend is going to drop a three. Here's Brian Young with a shot off the rim. We're down to 207 here to play now. Jody reaches in, and it's going to be a foul on somebody as Josh Alnez was driving in. And it's going to be on Tyler Nugent, it looks like, number 32. Josh's first shot in. It's one of the other things I think you can credit to Pleasant Hill on this victory is uh, they have a very high percentage of shooting uh, at the free throw line also. Yes, he did. Here's the second one, and it drops. Mabashar Alam also into the game now. We've got 145 to play. But it's going to be a Pleasant Hill ball. The whole starting five for Staley on the bench right now. And I think same thing is true of Pleasant Hill. Pleasant Hill snapping that ball around. That is one thing. This team does have some speed. A lot of patience. Still working it around. Killing off a bunch of clock here. Xavier Smith also in the game. Now here's a drive. Left-handed shot by Nick Shore, but it's going to be off the rim. And we are under one minute to play. Jody kicks it out to Xavier and Moshar. Back to Jody. Xavier over here with a three, and it's off the rim. No good. 35 seconds to go. 
Missed shot by Pleasant Hill. Xavier with the rebound off the floor. 21 seconds. Chad Hall. Xavier. Jody. Jody's going to drive. Looks like he wants to pull up. There's Mashar. Mashar is going to put one up. And it's short. Five seconds to go here. Pleasant Hill with the ball. And a 25 point lead. And it looks like they're just going to kill off the last five seconds and give it up. And once again, your score here is going to be the Pleasant Hill Roosters 76, Staley Falcons 51. And it looks like Staley will come away with a sixth place here at the Green Valley Sonic Showdown. Pleasant Hill will go home with the fifth place. Here is your scoring for the game. If Grandma, the scorekeeper, will hand me the score sheet. Looks like Zach Riley for Staley is going to have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 13, 14 to 16 points for Zach Riley, 8 for Nathan Fulkerson, Jody Kraft with 5, 6, 7, uh, Hatfield with 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 17, 18 points for John Hatfield. Most of those are in the second half. And now for Pleasant Hill, it's going to be um, Morgan with 2, 4, 6, 8, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 points. Hunter Mouse, Mouse, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 17, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3 pointers for Hunter. Alnaz is 2, Griffin 4, Watson 2, Roach 2, Burst 2, Townsend 3, and then Brad Smith, the big guy on the inside, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13 points. But once again, that will conclude the Green Valley Sonic Shootout here. Once again, the final score, Pleasant Hill wins that game. And folks, that's going to do it here for Grandpa's sports videos. Hopefully we'll see you Tuesday night. I believe we play at home against possibly Kearney. I'm not sure. Get on the highschoolsports.net and you can see what the schedules are there. But that's going to wrap it up. Everybody have a good week and we will see you next time at Staley High School.